Hello, I'm Natalie Haynes and I am an author and broadcaster and above all classicist. I have written, I should know this really, um, technically I've written seven books but no one ever counts my first, The Great Escape, because it was a children's book with a talking cat in it. It has structural issues, I know I'm not supposed to say this but it has. I would write it better now is what I'm saying, I haven't got time now but anyway, but it's charming, there's a talking cat, his name is Max, he's from Belgium, um, as am I a bit but uh, that's a separate issue. And then I wrote a non-fiction book called The Ancient Guide to Modern Life um, which looked at the modern world and kind of refracted it through the prism of the ancient world, a non-fiction book. And then I wrote a novel which is loosely based on on the Oresteia but set in the modern world in Edinburgh called The Amber Fury, unless you're in America, in which case it was called The Furies. And then I wrote a novel which was set in the Bronze Age called The Children of Decasta, which looked at the Theban saga but um, told it through the eyes of Jocasta, uh, who is the wife of Oedipus, I say not wanting to spoil my own plot, and also Ismene, um, who is uh, one of four children um, who who become part of the royal household um, of Thebes. And then I wrote a book called A Thousand Ships, uh, which told the story of the Trojan War, but only from the women's perspectives, Trojans, Greeks, and goddesses. And then I wrote a non-fiction book called Pandora's Jar, which uh, told the stories of 10 women in Greek myth and re-examined their myths with the focus on them rather than on the male characters whose stories uh, they had historically um, been considered part of. And my most recent book is a novel called Stone Blind, which tells the story of Medusa and all the characters whose lives her life impacts upon. I'm actually not sure I can tell you the range of genres I write in. At the most basic level, I write fiction and non-fiction. Um, I write novels about women in Greek myth and I write non-fiction about women in Greek. Do you know what? Women in Greek myth might be my genre here. That might be the overarching genre that I've adopted and made my own. The kind of recurring theme of my work is an interest in um, classical literature and art. And then I always focus on women because for the last couple of hundred years of um, what's usually known by academics as classical reception, uh, writing have tended not to. So um, I'm anyway more interested in women because I've spent my whole life reading the uh, work of men and so I thought this would be my uh, corner. My books have in common a, a kind of a fascination with the ancient world, with the ancient Mediterranean world I should say more specifically. So Greece um, to a greater extent, Rome to a slightly lesser extent are the the bits of the world that I know most about have been studying since I was a teenager. And I tend to focus on female characters because, you know, people historically have not. And so there are loads of incredible stories about women that come to us from Greek myth or sometimes from Roman retellings of Greek myth that people just don't, don't know very well. So that is the thing that my work has in common is mining those stories and, and handing them over to modern readers. I love most about writing the fact that I can do it from my flat. I think if I had to commute, it would probably kill me. Yeah, what I really like is being able to just settle and be surrounded by books to a too great an extent. There are always occasions when I think I'm not going to be able to get out the front door. But basically what I like is to be um, surrounded by Greek things. I have Greek maps on the wall. Um, I have, you know, art books everywhere. There are, you know, source books everywhere. The, the, I think I have maybe four or five different Latin dictionaries. I think I maybe have six Greek ones. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but this is where I like to live. So that's what I like most. Um, I hope that readers will find out more about the ancient world. I know lots of people feel like it's a place where they haven't been made welcome. Uh, in their education because there's so little teaching of classics now in the state sector. It's been withheld essentially from 93% of students. Obviously the 7% of students who go to private schools tend to have more access to it. And so what I want is to try and um, make everybody feel like classics is for them because it is. It's not, it's not just my history, it's not just the history of people whose parents can afford to pay for them to go to a particular kind of school. It's all our history. And so what I want is for people to feel that they can take their place in learning about these narratives and that they belong to them too. They do. I've been Natalie Haynes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy my books.